today at the John J. Mackinnon Bottle House Museum in Calava, speaking with Jim and Deanna Draves. Tell me about, first off, this Bottle House Museum, which is pretty rare. Well, this house was, museum was originally built as a family home. Um, Mr. Mackinnon had a bottling company at the end of the block um, that began in the 1920s. And um, he began building this home in the late 30s. It opened in 1941. Um, unfortunately, he wasn't able to, he died before he was able to live in it, but his family lived in it for several years. Is there a reason why he wanted to build it out of bottles other than the fact he had access to them from his bottle company? Go ahead. Well, um, we understand that Mr. Mackinnon was a very thrifty fellow. He just didn't throw things away. Uh -huh. And so he uh, decided to use those bottles as building material. And he originally built part of his bottling works using the bottles. And then he had the idea to build a house using the bottles. Well, it looks like it worked. Tell me a little bit about the process of how he did that. Well, he, uh, he had to experiment with uh, a mortar uh, formula that would not shrink or swell and crack the bottles. And so he came up with his own proprietary mortar mix. And uh, he then began building the foundation and sticking the bottles in there. And we've got very few cracked bottles, so it worked. Yeah, it sure did. And so. It looks like the majority of the bottles came from the bottling company that he worked at. Is that correct? Um, yes. Uh, a lot of the bottles were bottles that were flawed. He couldn't use them again. And, and, um, but he also used wine bottles and liquor bottles and medicine bottles, um, anything he had. How many bottles are there total? Is it known? We use 60,000 as the number. Now, we still haven't found the person who's gone through and counted them all, but we believe it's 60,000. Wow, and so that's a lot of bottles to acquire, and it looks like that's what's needed to build a house. Yes, yes. <laughs> and so when did the house become a museum? Uh, the Historical Society uh, bought it in 1980 and then began tran uh, transforming it to a, to a museum. So it's so it went weekend. from a happy home, it says, to a museum. And now what is the museum encompassed of? Well, we focus on uh, artifacts that deal with Finnish American culture because Kalava was uh, primarily settled by Finnish people. And uh, so you'll find things from uh, about Finnish mythology, um, artifacts that actually came with the immigrants from Finland. Um, but we also... Um, have exhibits having to do with uh, local businesses, like mm -hmm. the Mackinac Tackle Company. That's probably our best example. We have a whole room dedicated to everything they ever produce, so anybody that is interested in fishing would love to see all those lures that we, we have. Absolutely. So it's a museum inside, and it's kind of a museum in and of itself. Yes. So, yeah. go ahead. Yeah, we have, uh, we have folks visiting throughout the year. We're only open between Memorial Day and uh, the end of October, but you can see folks out here photographing this in the middle of February. I bet, it's quite the view. I don't think that there's anything else like it in Michigan, is there? We don't know of another bottle house in Michigan, and uh, there are other bottle houses throughout the country, but we're the only one in Michigan that we know of. And, and we're the only one in Ripley's, believe it or not. Yeah, you guys said Ripley's Believe It or Not came here, so it must yes. be a pretty unique yes. thing. Yep, yes. it is. And so the Bottle House Museum here in Calava, you said it's open from Memorial Day until Labor Day, so anyone can come visit. Is there a cost? It, it's just a donation. Uh, we ask for a $3 donation, but it's whatever people can give. And we also are open in October, September and October, but Saturdays only. Great. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Thank you, Abigail. In Calava, I'm Abigail Blackrick at the Bottle House Museum.